Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Roblox logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the top one is an image, the bottom one is the logo created inside PowerPoint. So I will jump to blank slide where I already have this logo pasted in. And what I will do is I will select this logo, select format, colors, and I will select one of those faded presets, maybe this light gray one, so it's not getting in our way. Then I will insert a new shape, so I will select insert shapes, maybe the rectangle. And when you draw a new shape, it has this blue color, which is, you know, once it's being drawn, it's, it's opaque, so we don't see what's below. What I can do is I can shape, uh, change the fill to be red color, the outline to be red color, and I may, I may change the fill to be a little bit faded, so I will select the transparency, or set the transparency. Then what I will do is I will right click and select set as default shape. What this function will do is next time I draw any shape, it will, has this, it will have those fill and outline options. So I will select insert, shapes, whatever, and you can see it's a faded red color. So I will start tracing the letters, and I will probably not start with the first one, but from the end, because the X and O and L, those all seem to be fairly easy shapes. So let's start with the easy ones first. I will select insert shapes a parallelogram, and draw it from the left top corner to the bottom right, like this, and set the slant angle with this yellow handle, like this. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that seems about right. I will copy paste this shape and to the same spot and select rotate flip vertical. And that's it for the X letter. So I will move to the O, which is even easier. Select insert shapes new rectangle and just draw the rectangle in the size like this. Maybe I will copy paste it and just resize it to be the same size as the in between uh, in the middle shape. For the L shape, I can probably use two rectangles, but I can also use the default L shape which is this one, and I will just simply draw it like this and use, again, use the yellow handles to set this position and that position. Fairly easy, right? So let's move to the more advanced stuff. The B letter seems to be, you know, could be created with many different ovals, but what I will do is I will select insert shapes and I will select this, one of those uh, rectangles with the rounded corners, which is probably this one, top corners rounded. I will draw it in any size, but rotate it by 90 degrees by holding the shift key on my keyboard. And I will move it down here. Make sure that the right size is matching the right, uh, right, uh, sorry, right side of the B letter. And set the row, you know, roundness as much as I can. I will copy paste this shape one more time. And move it over the top. Make sure that it's aligned on the left side. So, like this. And make it just a tiny bit sorry I've moved the image so make it just a tiny bit little smaller like this I can probably use the same shape for the holes inside I just have to make sure that the roundness is as much as it could be okay so that's for the B letter for the rotated O letter I can probably reuse those two shapes I'll just copy paste those move it to the move them to the left side I will zoom in and rotate it. If I actually hold the shift key, I believe it will snap to the right angle. So I don't have to do anything else. So the biggest uh, or the most complex letter is the letter, is the first one, the letter R. I can probably reuse part of the B letter for the top part, which will save me a little bit of time. Seems like even the shape has to be resized a little bit, but it's just fine. Then I will probably use a rectangle to trace the left side Although for the right side, you know, I'm not quite sure if we can find a default shape which will match this uh, this shape. So I will insert a new oval, and I will of course do it, you know, in a very big size, like this. And I will copy paste it one more time, but this time I will resize it to be much smaller, and try to match the the inner shape. maybe like this. I need one more rectangle which I will subtract from this so I will draw a new rectangle around here. And I believe that this should be fine for all those shapes so what I will start is I will start uh, subtracting and adding those shapes together. So I will select those two shapes, select format, merge shapes, I will union those into one shape. Then I will select the big rectangle and smaller one, I will select merge shapes, subtract. I will subtract, I will probably subtract those two shapes and those two shapes for the B letter and merge those together so select merge shapes union 
this one is the same as the second one so I will just subtract those and I have to do a little bit more things for the R letter, letter sorry R letter so I will select those uh, big and smaller ovals and I will subtract those then I will subtract this rectangle from this merge shape so I will select format merge shape subtract and I don't even need the left part so I will draw one more rectangle which I will subtract and now I have much less shape so I will merge those three together and I have to subtract the inner part which is hard to select because it's below the this shape so I will maybe draw a selection rectangle like this right click and select bring to front now I can select both shapes and select subtract so the only missing part is to select all those individual shapes I will maybe group them together so select the group group I will move it to the bottom reset the color settings for the original logo so format reset picture and I will sample the fill color so shape fill eyedropper tool trace the red color and maybe set the outline to no outline and we have a roblox logo done in microsoft powerpoint in almost no time and that's it thanks for watching